But Doom was like, it satisfied everything, and you never knew that that could exist. You know, it takes a lot of hard work, especially for the core disciplines, to get to the level where you could make something like a Doom or a Quake type game. It takes a lot of years. You know, when when we made Doom, uh, you know, we did that in 1993, and I had been programming at that time for 14 years. Well, I think a, a big part of Fallout was you don't trust your own government. Uh, we made it quite clear that the government was lying to you. We could take a mechanic like death, which in RPGs it was pretty straightforward exactly what death did to you. Like death made you reload the game, it wasted your time. In Planescape, we thought, you know, hey, what, you know, if we have this opportunity, um, the campaign setting actually lends itself to experimenting with what death really is. Um, that's when I let Arnie Katz know that uh, I know how to program the Atari 2600. And he's like, that's impossible, you're just a kid. The, 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 the support from people who really seem to understand what's going on is just really, really moving. And you gotta remember, it's just video games we're talking about here. You know, I, I, I think if, if we really want women to feel comfortable in games and we want to increase our our player base that making women not feel uncomfortable when they first get into video games. Making them come into the core space and not feel like, why do I have to walk around in lingerie? Uh, I think that's super important. Hey, what can we do with those 40 million television sets in pe people's homes that aren't doing anything except producing what we happen to get with a big antenna on the roof. You know, many channels four and channel five and seven, NBC, CBS and and maybe a couple of others, you know. And the answer was, hey, well, how about uh, putting some stuff on the screen that allows you to play simple games? That's how it started. <laughs>